in the description, the transcription of the lecture that Tesla gave describing his hairpin circuit experiments, um, he used a a generator and a an in transformer and produced disruptive discharges, which means sparks, and a very high voltage and very high frequency, which produced um, which he used to make lights. But in the hairpin circuit, now I've just shown you the three pictures of it. This one is the middle one with the opening at the top. And um, what I want to say at this point is that his point was that the three lights were different brightness. And I don't see a different brightness. They all seem to be even. And I don't know why it may be because these lights have capacitors inside them. Um, the first one might be brighter, but I'm not sure that that isn't the first one uh, having brighter bulbs. It's very hard to say conclusively. So I'll describe the circuit now. This is a hairpin circuit, um, a Tesla hairpin circuit. Uh, replica. Here's the basic jewel thief. There's the transistor, the resistor, um, big toroid. This is uh, lid motors uh, rheostat, and this allows me to adjust the amount of battery juice coming into the system. So um, I have one, two, and three lights ready to go. This is a not stout copper bar. This is a s copper wire. And I've already connected these uh, black lines, uh, but so far, right now, what I'm going to show you is the secondary on this other not stout line. And the first one's going to be just this first, just this first light. So I'll pop the battery in, and I'll turn the rheostat up. Very, very bright. Too bright. I mean, there's too many volts for this one bulb. There's a thousand volts. Okay, now I'm going to put on the other one. So here, follow this, and I'll explain it. Right here is the the green one, which is, there's the first, there's the first light. And now I've connected the second light to it. And it's on, dimly. And I'll adjust the rheostat again. You can see they're both very bright. And now, just so you can see it, I'll connect it in a minute. But now the third light has gone on, and I don't have enough hands. So I can't adjust the rheostat. Now, there you go. There's the last one, and it's attached to this last light bulb. And I will now adjust the rheostat. And you can see what happens when all three of these share a thousand sixty seven volts. I think probably if I had about um, thirteen, fourteen hundred volts, it would be enough for all of them. Now, look, I'll take this off. It's easier to do. Look how bright those two get. And, and basically, I'm not willing to um, I'm not willing to fry these lights, so I'm going to lower it a little bit, and then I'll take off this one. And so there it is, full brightness with just the one. This is cool.